Maryland fans were one goal away from seeing overtime lacrosse on back-to-back -back days here at CQ Stadium. The highlight from today's game was Corey Edmondson, who completed her first career hat trick. Despite that, Maryland women's lacrosse fell 7-8 to, to Denver. Maryland dominated the majority of the first quarter, and freshman Corey Edmondson got her first goal of three after a Denver penalty. Um, I honestly couldn't have done it without my teammates clearing through for me. Them setting up for me to be able to go to goal, I wouldn't have that opportunity. Four minutes later, Edmondson scored again, and it seemed like the Terps had momentum. Started to score the first two goals, I'm like, well, you're not coming off the field today. Um, <laughs> You know, but she, like, Corey can run. She's a competitor. Like, she is mentally tough. Denver controlled three straight draws and capitalized by scoring twice in the last minute and change of the first quarter. Head coach Kathy Reese was not satisfied with the season-high 17 turnovers. We're uncharacteristically dropping balls today, which was bizarre, too, sometimes without even being contested. Um, but way too many. I think we went into the first, even after halftime, we had 10, and it's like, my God. For the next 20 minutes, it was all Denver, as they scored four straight goals, two to end the half and two to begin it. <laughs> Maryland battled back with key draw controls, saved from Emily Sterling in first turnovers, only allowing one goal in the final 25 minutes of the game. Well, is only as good as the defense in front of them, and I could not believe that any stronger, I think. As our defense has come together more, I have been looking at like easier shots to save. Edmondson once again helped the Terps get back on track, scoring her third goal of the day. Edmondson had a chance to tie it up, but Amelia Bogey comes up with the save. Now with 30 seconds to go, Ladderback forced a turnover to give the Terps one last chance. A foul on Denver sets up Victoria Hench with a chance, but she loses the ball and Denver is able to run out the final six seconds. Denver improves to 6-0 and and Maryland falls to 3-3. Three three on the season. So while we trust the process, there are things that we need to iron out and, and, and changes that we need to make once we kind of get back and talk about it and see what we can do to be ready for the next game. After suffering two straight one goal losses, Maryland will look to get back on track here, 5 p.m. on Wednesday against William and Mary. For Terrapin Sports Central from CQ Stadium, I'm Brendan Weissel.